Harvest memories are growing strong in the wheat fields near Davenport, Washington, thanks to an effort by local farmers who have rescued and restored some antique combines and tractors. They wanted to show off the machines their fathers once used, while also providing a demonstration in old-fashioned farming ingenuity. The origins of this vintage harvest are best told by its founders and lifelong farmers, Creighton Gulke and Gene Stuckel. Gene and I were having uh, liquid refreshments one night. And Creighton made the comment one day where we're sitting around drinking coffee or beer, I don't know which. And uh, kept talking about, he had this old machine of his sitting in the barn. And he says, why don't we drag that old Harris out and show these kids how to harvest. Show these grandkids how, how that works. And so, and so we did. And that's where it started. The vintage harvest takes place just east of Davenport on Creighton Gulkey's farm. His family has been working this land for five generations. Well, I've farmed this place since uh, 1960. My grandfather homesteaded it prior to 1900. My dad ran combines like this. I think my first harvest was about five years old and uh, haven't missed one yet, so. Volunteers donate their time and money out of a love for machinery and history. When work is complete, these old-fashioned combines return to the fields in a condition just short of a complete restoration. I wouldn't say a complete restoration, but I would give them a facial lift. And they work, they work good. We got a Massey 21, it was built in 46. And then there's a 1948 Harris pulled by a 1937 Caterpillar RD6. Uh, there's a 1937 uh, TD35 International pulling a V2 case. And then there's a, I think she's a 1950 Caterpillar D6 pulling a John Deere 1950-36B combine. Watching these classic combines and tractors at work is a nostalgic trip back in time for many and a chance for them to reminisce about the days gone by. Brings back memories to some of these old, old timers. Well, I guess I'm one of them. Uh, and it's good, it's good for these guys. I saw an article in Belt Pulley Magazine and thought it'd be great to come out here and watch the old combines. I used to have a Model 36 John Deere and used to pull up with the cats and armed with crawlers. So it was kind of like old home week for me. Well, most of them think it's pretty neat, especially for people my age. Uh, memory back to a much simpler time and to the young kids and the experience that they'll never get anyplace else. The young people are coming out and the young farmers that have never been able to pull a combine that grew up running a combine with a cab on it. All these young farmers want to pull a combine and we let them, that's what we're doing. Make it educational. Weather permitting, this vintage harvest takes place in late August during the Lincoln County Fair. Admission is free, and visitors are welcome to ride along with the field crews for an up-close view of harvesting technology from the past. In the 1940s and 50s, these combines were state-of-the-art and advanced wheat production to a new level, just as the high-tech models are doing today. Modern technology is, uh, I've seen it come a long ways in my 65 years of farming. Uh, from the old International Number Eight, my dad had to uh, these brand new Deers and these new Case International combines. Uh, riding in a new combine is kind of like sitting down on the uh, front row of church and nobody's in it. There's no noise. Everything is made for the operator, and they're hungry. One of them will do about what four of these will do. And that's why there's guys out there farming five to 10,000 acres. The modern combines of today may have changed the farming landscape, but they haven't altered the important role of the farmer. The farmers work the land to produce the crops that feed the world. And it's been this way for generations. In today's fast paced world, the vintage harvest is a journey back to a simpler time. It's a time that lives on when antique combines harvest some old memories and honor the farming heritage and lifestyle. And I'm gonna quote my old landlord, O.J. Mauer. 
Farming's a good way to live, but a damn poor living. And them are his exact words. God bless him. <laughs> but it's been good. Farming is a good way of life. Uh, we don't all of us become millionaires at it, but it's just a beautiful way to live. We have our winters off, and we, we work on our equipment. And it's just, to me, I don't, don't think I could have done anything else. So it's, uh, we'll keep on harvesting, I guess, this, this crew until we start dying off. And we're hoping to get the young guys into this. My son, Creighton's son, all these young guys. We want to you know, hope to keep this running. This stuff is here and to be used for fun. That's what we're having today, and it's a lot of fun. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.